Hey there, Squarespacer. Becca here from Inside the Square with a brand new tutorial about a brand new feature. Squarespace has now given us the ability to add a paywall to an individual blog on our Squarespace website, which means we have more stuff to customize. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to change the automatic text for this blog post paywall. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, check out the introduction video linked in the description below. I'll walk you through this brand new feature that we now have access to. But if you've already enabled the paywall and you'll want to customize it, let's get into some creative CSS. As always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'll go ahead and share my screen to teach you exactly how to use these in Squarespace. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and unfortunately at the time of recording this, we can't see the paywall while we're editing the site. So I opened up an incognito tab so you can see what it says. We have sign up to read this post. This text is what we're changing with custom CSS. Back here in Squarespace, I'm going to navigate to website, then website tools, then custom CSS. And here I'll paste the code that's in the description below. Now don't worry about all the content on this page. We're only changing a few parts of this code to make it uniquely yours. Go ahead and select save. And back here in my incognito tab, I'll refresh this page so we can see the changes. And there we go. We now have two lines of text for this paywall above our blog content. The first line of text says special offer. Then we have a new line that says get free access for seven days. Back here in Squarespace, this is how you can change that content. Change the text special offer to anything you want it to be. Just make sure you leave these two characters, backward slash and the letter A. That's what creates two lines of text. Here, I've changed the font size to make it slightly smaller than the other text. Super customizable. Just make sure you set any font size you want that first sentence to be. I also reset the font weight to normal so it's not bold anymore. Added some letter spacing. This here is just my own unique style. I liked the look, but you don't have to leave those in there if you don't want to. Now, after that, we have our second line of text that says get free access for seven days. Change this text to anything you want it to be. Just make sure you set a font size for this statement as well. Here, I made it larger than the other font. You'll see my first sentence is 12px. My second sentence is 30px. Again, super customizable, but you need to select a font size. And here's why. The original text is set to zero. That's how we hid that text. We said font size zero, so it's no longer visible. I also wrote text align center. I'll show you what happens when we remove those codes. We'll select save. We'll refresh this page and instantly you'll see not only are they aligned to the left, but we have the original text there that we don't want to see. So I'm going to paste those back in my CSS, select save, refresh this page. And there we go. Looks a lot better in my opinion. So again, here in your custom CSS, adjust the text that says special offer to anything you want that first sentence to be. Just make sure you leave the backward slash and uppercase A and make sure you set the font size to a font size that you want that text to be. Feel free to add any other text or font properties you want. After that, we have our second statement that says get free access for seven days. Change the text between those quotation marks to anything you want it to be. And again, make sure you set a font size for that line of text. This part of the code, you should leave it alone unless you want it aligned to the left. Then remove text align center. But personally, I think that looks better on my website and on mobile devices. Changing this paywall text is one of the first things I thought of when I saw this brand new feature. But I want to hear from you. What do you want to customize about your Squarespace website? Let me know in the comments below so I can start working on some new tutorials for us. And for those of you who have the Squarespace CSS cheat sheet, I've already added the paywall selectors to the blog section there and some creative snippets that I created this weekend. Some fun stuff to play around with. So if you already have access to that, check those out. If you don't have the Squarespace CSS cheat sheet, you can get access right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I look forward to seeing your creative ideas in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at insidethesquare.co. That's insidethesquare.co.